Okay, let's go over the directory structure in a Linux system. So this is your root directory. If we click up here, you can see it's just a slash. This contains everything in the system. Okay, bin is for system binaries. So basic shell commands would be in here. Dev is for device files. Think of it a list of the hardware in your system. Um, ETC is for system configuration files. USR, most of your programs will be in here. Home is where any user files will be stored. So we go in there and then click on the logged in user. Uh, you can see all this stuff. So you've got your desktop for your shortcuts and stuff. And then documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, that stuff's all pretty explanatory. Templates is where you'd save templates for like Word documents uh, or similar. And the programs will pull from this folder and you can use them. Public is kind of set up to be a shareable folder, I believe. And then any, any file that starts with a dot will be hidden by default. So if we show hidden files, we can see that there will be user-based cache in here and then uh, user-specific configs will be in here too. So hidden files in your home directory will, would be roughly the equivalent to like the percent app data percent folder on Windows. Lib uh, and lib64 is the same thing, just, you know, 64-bit, you know, whatever. They are for uh, shared libraries for the programs on the computer. Um, SBIN is system binaries, so like bin, but for system stuff. TMP is a temporary directory. Uh, this is cleared every boot. VAR is for files that are expected to vary in size over time. Um, so logs, crash logs, system logs, stuff like that will be in here. Boot, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Files for booting are in there. Proc is for process IDs and information about running processes. It's a virtual file system. Just, you know, don't store anything in there. It's just a, uh, like a visual representation, basically. OPT or optional. If you install any packages from the internet that you don't do through the package manager, they'll show up in here. Um, root, this is like the, uh, the home folder, but for the root account or the admin account. MNT or mount, this is a safe place to mount uh, drives. SRV, this is, this is where you'd host a server out of or something like that. Lost and found at startup, there's a file system check for the system drive. And if any corrupted files are found, it will put them in here so you can try and recover them. Um, run is kind of like proc, but it's for programs that start early in the boot process, I believe. I don't know. It was kind of hard to find information about this one, so I might be wrong about that. But that's what I could gather. And then sys. This was kind of hard to find stuff out about too, but I believe like device drivers and stuff like that are stored in here. And then secondary drives. I have an SD card plugged in right here. Um, you can see it in the bottom left here, but where it actually is, if we go to run, media, we can see the SD card here. If I right click it, go to properties, we can see this is a seven gig drive and obviously there's 220 gigs total in the root directory so they're different physical drives but that's where usbs and external drives would show up see ya